Hey guys, I'm Scott. And I'm Ryan. And today we're talking about this uh, new petition that's come online about fans wanting to remake The Last Jedi. Should Star Wars The Last Jedi be remade? Hmm? So last week, a fan petition showed up online about with very the ultimate fan petition. Yeah, like some very serious backing behind people who are really keen on to remaking the Last Jedi. Yeah. Um, so we, let's let's talk about this. Like, do you think this should actually happen? Like, let's be real here. This is this is actually pretty pretty staggering. This this petition had last time I checked, it had seventy eight million dollars pledged towards it, which is. Unbelievable. That's bigger than any Kickstarter that's ever happened of all time. That's bigger than any GoFundMe. Forget about all the cancer patients that need money. Forget all the people that need heart transplants. Let's remake The Last Jedi for $78 million. Let's 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 be clear here, Ryan. How much did you pledge to the I remake? I pledged $10,000 of my mystical Monopoly money. <laughs> so as because you can see, all you have to do is enter in your email for this thing to be actually really pledged. So as you can see, people are very serious about I this. I was really serious. I was like, I'm putting in 10000 Monopoly dollars, and you can do whatever you want with it. You know who else is really excited? But I get a ticket to the premiere. Uh -huh. You know who else is premiere. really excited about this remake? Ryan Johnson. Check yes. out this tweet. Yes, even the director of The Last Jedi is super excited about this remake. He can't wait for it to happen. But let's be serious here, Ryan. Does this movie actually need to be remade? Probably not, but I wouldn't actually mind seeing it. Look, me personally... Why? I, look, I, 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 as I continually say, I didn't hate The Last Jedi. Yeah. But I didn't love it. I don't think it's yep. the greatest Star Wars film. I would probably put it in the ranks of the prequels. Um, but maybe just a little bit higher. Because I find it not as easily rewatchable as the yeah, rest of okay. But that's my main reason. Yep. Um, but in saying that, how fun would it be to see... You know, you've seen all these fan films. Friggin' what were those two lightsaber guys? Doug versus Doug or Dave? Anyway, yeah, it's such a long time ago. And all like even the Australian Star Wars fan film. like the There was this one time where I watched these like um, like two samurai style guys yeah, fighting mm -hmm. against each other. Give these people a budget, $78 million worth of a budget, and let them remake it. That could be a really interesting film. And it doesn't actually have to sit in canon, because these films will always be canon. The the, the, the eight films that are already out. Yeah. Give us a film that doesn't fit in canon, but has an unbelievable budget that just fits into the fan, fan film universe. And please, never remake that fan film opening, because that would be amazing to fit in the front of this film. $78 million, <laughs> and you've got a pixelated logo? Yeah. Love it. <laughs> I think I think there's the only thing that has me interested if someone was to do it like the uh, the Raiders remake that those kids did yeah. or now adults amazing uh, yeah they haven't fantastic. watched that that is one of those things you just need to watch it's on Netflix yep uh, Raiders oh, the, yeah the greatest fan film ever made documentary is oh, fantastic but outside of that this is the silliest idea I've heard of in a long long time yeah. like. Do you know what you could do with that amount of money? So many things, but you could also remake Root and oh, Last Jedi. You could freaking go to space. You could <laughs> probably solve a fair chunk of world hunger for some countries. Like Imagine the house you could make. Oh, yeah, bloody hell. But, like, like I don't understand who's actually serious about this. Like, why? Yeah, like, I, this movie happened. You accept that and you move on with your life. Like, but people haven't moved on, Scott. Uh, That's the issue. People haven't moved on. But okay, so so how come we didn't do this with trying to do this with Phantom Menace? How can we do this with any other movie that we didn't like? Because of, there wasn't an internet site that allowed <laughs> uh, you yes, to play yes, ten thousand yes, dollars yes. to go to the premiere of this remake. This is the same problem I had with them uh, with Neil Blomkamp's Alien sequel that was just going to diss three and four. Oh come on, that would have been a great idea. Oh, no way. <laughs> like this is a, it's about. You have to deal with the creative consequences of what's come before you. Like, right. you can't just, oh, that sucked, let's just wipe it off and start again. Like, okay. you've got to deal with in everything in life. Like, if you make mistakes, you have to deal with those consequences. And if Lucasfilm has made a mistake, I'm not saying they did with Last Jedi, they're the ones that have to live with it. But you like Superman Returns, right? It's okay. Well, I mean, that's the same sort of thing, isn't it? What? It's like a sequel to... Oh, fuck. Yes, yeah! Uh, no. Welcome yeah, to the but, jungle! But that is it's awesome. a sequel to number two and Quest for Peace... That is completely denied. I, well, it's a bit free, of course, but question pieces is the issue. I, I like the movie. I don't say it shouldn't or should not be retconned. Well, I remember the back of the day, you were all for it. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> but this is, this is Star Wars we're talking about. Okay, it's this just, is Star this Wars. Just, the other S movie. Yes, yes, yes. So this is a dangerous trend because James Cameron is about to do the same thing with his Terminator 6 slash 3 or whatever yeah, he wants whatever to call it. Wants it. To be. Judgment Day 2. And it's amazing to me that someone like him, and I know he's not actually directing it, but he's got a fair chunk of his 
you know, Money interest behind. in this film. Tim Miller's directing. Yes, it yes. Um, but it's so weird that I think that we so films are like an art. We like them, we don't. As a consumer, we don't have any say of the outcome and nor should we expect some so it's kind of weird to me that because we didn't like certain things that we suddenly feel like we have the power and the responsibility yeah. to go and fix that for Do you remember us. Shapes though? Shapes did it and remember that what happened there they gave of all different different flavours and they were awful and then they listened to the fans and they gave us all the flavours back Yeah but Shapes did it themselves the fans didn't go go bake their own crisps right? I would <laughs> I would I wasn't far from Ryan's barbecue <laughs> Some would be amazing Squares <laughs> That's as far as my shapes would have gone. <laughs> like past hexagon, I got yeah, nothing. Yeah, it's complex, right? <laughs> but that's, I guess it's 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 not about <laughs> putting in those shapes in this. <laughs> I'm just gonna have one video of that in there. <laughs> but it's it's about us kind of going on that creative journey, whether we like it or not. We we you know if it sucks, it sucks. But like we can't spend 78 million dollars trying to correct somebody else's mistake right we just Apparently have to we can oh. so we, we we can pledge 78 million dollars yeah. to fix someone else's mistake so this this is apparently being produced by a very well-known producer i won't give out his name but apparently done a lot of big movies we will know all of his movies he's done but we don't know his name is this the same thing as like being on the schoolyard and saying oh my relative has done all this like fancy stuff but i can't tell you who he is like it's just <laughs> bs sad. Sure, probably it is, it is it like, exactly like, like, like that. But it's insane that like this is even people are even considering this as a real thing. I think it's hilarious the response has gotten from you know actually Hollywood people on Twitter. Seth Ryan Rogan. Yeah, Seth Rogen. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but but beyond that, like like this, do these people think they're real? Like this is a joke, right? Like I think the guy that thinks he's producing it thinks it's real. Bizarre. So whether we like it or not, this, this petition is at least happening. Will it actually pan out? Uh, time will tell. I'd like to think it won't, but what do you guys think? What do you think? I, th I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind it just because I'd like to see what happens. Because if anything, if anything, it'll make The Last Jedi look amazing. Because you know it's not going to be made by, like, no, like, named or reputable directors are going to touch this thing. No. So it'll be like, you ball friggin' directing Star Wars. That's what it's gonna be like. It's gonna be the Be Kind Rewind kind of thing, right? Like yeah. even lower than UV <laughs> Bowl or whatever. Ghostbusters. Yeah, so for me, yes, I totally wanna see it, but all for the wrong reasons. Yes, and I, I, this is not a thing that I think should exist. Just take your money, save it, to pledge your fake money towards charities or something. Give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me. If you've got $10 million or $10,000, give it to me. Come on, I'll have it. I'll buy a Lamborghini or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. All right. <laughs> <laughs> or I'm going to build a full-size Millennium Falcon cockpit in the backyard. And you can all come over and live out your own childhood fantasies and have Star Wars in however you like it. Very yeah. good. All right. Well, I'm Scott. I'm Ryan. And we'll see you <laughs>